Welcome back everyone to another week with My Green Pets. This week we're on the road at the Missouri Botanical Garden. We're here to see their annual orchid show and their theme this year is Where Wild Things Grow. One of the first things that struck me about this show was how light and airy everything seemed. The music was light and peaceful. All of the colors were very um, mild colors. There were whites, there were uh, light yellows, and just the whole space was just a serene, tranquil place that you just you felt like you could spend hours there. There's a huge assortment of flowers, all different sizes and shapes and forms and colors, but some certainly stand out among the rest, and this Bubophilum kumingi is one of them. These flowers hung quite far from the plant on a long stem. If you like tall, striking plants with bold flowers, this Fios is just for you. Or perhaps you prefer daintier beauties. This Dendrobium kingianum has lots and lots of little beautiful flowers that are very sweetly fragrant. Here's a rather shameless Dendrobium Speciosum. Oncidium maculatum. Hmm. Where have I seen this plant before? Wow. There's just something awe-inspiring about a massive plant like this. And Graycombs are African orchids made famous by none other than the one and only Charles Darwin. He said that there had to be a moth with a proboscis long enough to pollinate that flower and reach the end of that long spur. And he was right. Selogeny or Quellogeny. Either way, this is a beautiful orchid. Many, many, many thanks go to everyone at the Missouri Botanical Garden who helped put this together. Um, if you live within 100 miles of St. Louis and you are an orchid, uh, fan, I highly suggest you making the trip down because it will be worth it. You will really enjoy it. That's all from My Green Pets. We'll see you next week. Keep them green. <laughs>